integrating multimedia in teaching English and social studies. This video will outline the various ways to incorporate multimedia in teaching English and social studies. Multimedia is a powerful learning tool that can help learners practice real-world skills, solve problems, and apply knowledge in authentic contexts. However, incorporating effective multimedia requires careful alignment with the learning objectives and outcomes of the lesson, identifying relevant and engaging contents, selecting the appropriate multimedia formats, and infusing interactive activities such as quiz, games, amongst others. It is also important to highlight some key elements towards successful multimedia integration in the teaching of English and social studies. Define your objectives and outcomes. For a successful integration, it is important for teachers to define the learning objectives and outcomes of the lesson. What do you want your learners to learn after completing the lesson? How will you measure their performance and feedback? Learning objectives and outcomes should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Choose the right multimedia category. Depending on your objectives and outcomes, you need to choose the right category for your lesson. Just as discussed in the previous videos, there are two categories of multimedia elements, such as static, that is, text and graphic, or dynamic, that is, audio, video, and animation. Each category has its own advantages and limitations, depending on the learning context, content, and learners. For example, Using static or dynamic elements can ease the use of various pedagogy to achieve the desired learning outcome. Virtual simulations or scenarios can help learners apply decision-making and critical thinking skills. You need to consider the learning outcomes, the available resources, the delivery mode, and the learner preferences when choosing the simulation type. Design the multimedia elements. Once you have chosen the category, you need to design the elements depending on the learning context, styles of learning, preferences, and needs of different individuals. These elements should support the learning objectives and outcomes, as well as create an immersive and realistic experience for the learners. For example, the elements should reflect the real-world context where the learners will apply their skills. It should also define the scope and boundaries of the lesson. It should have engagement activities to help the learners reflect on their learning and identify areas for improvement. Let us look at some of the key elements we can use towards successful multimedia integration in the teaching of English and social studies. For effective learning outcomes, these key elements work together in creating an engaging and captivating experience for the learners. Here are some ways to incorporate multimedia in teaching and learning of these subjects. Interactive presentations. Use presentation software like PowerPoint, Google Slides to create visually appealing and interactive slides that best describe your key learning objective. For instance, if your lesson is on parts of speech, it is necessary to include graphics, videos, or animations to illustrate concepts and processes. Videos you can also utilize educational videos from reputable sources that explain social problems like documentaries and programs. Pause the videos at strategic points to encourage discussion and interaction. Simulations and virtual labs. Utilize interactive simulations and virtual lab tools to provide hands-on experiences for students. 
These tools can help students visualize abstract concepts in either English or social studies and have experiences that might not be feasible in a traditional classroom setting. Online resources. Online resources guide learners to educational websites and online resources that provide supplementary materials such as interactive tutorials, games, quizzes, and demonstrations. Data visualization. Data visualization use graphing tools and applications to help learners analyze and interpret data. Visualizing data through charts and graphs can assist learners in drawing conclusions and making connections between English and social studies concepts. Online collaborative platforms. Online collaborative platforms utilize online platforms that allow learners to interact, collaborate, and work together as a team on projects or problem-solving activities. Learners can share their work, exchange ideas, and receive feedback from peers and teachers. Augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented reality and virtual reality incorporate augmented reality and virtual reality technologies to create immersive and interactive learning experiences. Augmented reality and virtual reality can help learners explore complex concepts by bringing them to real life in a more engaging and realistic way. Podcasts and audio resources. Incorporate podcasts and audio resources that explain concepts or share real-world examples. This can be particularly beneficial for auditory learners or as a way to reinforce concepts through different modalities. When integrating multimedia, it is very important to ensure that the resources are aligned with the multimedia contents and encourage discussion and reflection to deepen their understanding. The following should also be considered when incorporating multimedia in teaching English and social studies. Various learning styles and how multimedia aligns with each. The integration of multimedia into the teaching and learning has opened up the classroom to accommodate more flexible teaching methods that result not only in more engaged student learner processes, but also in the changing roles of the teacher and learners. Most of the teaching processes in schools tend to be auditory, abstract, passive, and sequential. There are many interpretations and definitions of learning styles. The definition cited in Bern 2002 refers to a personally preferred way of dealing with information and experiences for learning that crosses content areas. Learning styles can be seen as a description of the attitudes and behaviors which determine an individual's preferred way of learning. There are several learning styles proposed by educational researchers and theorists, and multimedia aligns with each of these styles in different ways. Visual Visual learning style is the learning style which focuses on watching to learn. The learners who prefer visual learning styles learn best through visual stimulation. The visual learners are able to read and understand and they study best when reading a text and using highlighters as visual stimulations that assist in remembrance. These learners benefit when diagrams, videos or similar visuals are used to teach them. Visual learners prefer to see information presented in graphs, charts, maps, diagrams, and other visual aids. Multimedia can effectively align with this learning style by incorporating visually appealing graphics, images, videos, and animations to enhance understanding. 
Oral. Auditory learning style is the style of learning through listening. Learners who prefer this learning style listen to their lessons, participate in discussion from which it is easy for them to understand the information better. For individuals who are auditory learners, written works are often difficult. Information should therefore be sufficiently loud to be heard such that the tone, pitch and sounds will aid comprehension. Auditory learners learn best through listening and hearing information. Multimedia can align with this learning style by incorporating audio elements such as narration, interviews, podcasts, and recorded lessons. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic learning style refers to tactile learning, that is, learning by doing something. The individual learns by touching, putting something together, or takes something apart using their hands. These learners are exploratory learners and need to move to understand the world around them. Kinesthetic learners learn best through hands-on activities and physical experiences. While multimedia may not directly align with this learning style, it can still be used to engage kinesthetic learners by incorporating interactive elements such as clickable buttons, drag and drop exercises, simulation games, and virtual reality experiences. We have come to the end of week one videos of multimedia training for teachers through massive open online course, MOOC. So far, we have learned about concept of multimedia, key elements of multimedia, and ways to incorporate multimedia in teaching English and social studies. It is hoped that you will participate in the discussion forums and reflect on all the assignments of the week. Thank you.